Hi everyone, I'm Sheenie from Just Nice Things, one half of Just Nice Things, um, the other half is, the better half is Helen, um, and I'm here today to talk to you about the Max Factor Elixir lipsticks. Um, you probably have read the post that Helen's done on her take on the lipsticks, um, so this is my version, and uh, to summarise, basically we were set a challenge to wear a different lipstick every day for seven days, or the seven day elixir lipstick challenge by um, Caroline Barnes, um, great makeup artist and ambassador for Max Factor. So um, this was quite an interesting challenge. Um, I do love lipsticks, Helen obviously isn't that keen on them. So um, before I go on, and I'll try and keep this um, concise, I want to show you something. I hope you can see this. I hope my mum's not going to kill me for this. But basically, this is my beautiful mum on her wedding day many years ago. Um, I hope you can see that. And the reason why I'm showing you this is um, we were talking about Max Factor. She's a big fan of Max Factor. Um, and she just told me recently that, um, I can't believe I didn't actually know this, uh, but her entire makeup for her wedding was done with Max Factor products. And that was quite interesting to see that, how it was used, how it was, you know, all the rage back then, and it still is. You know, the brand is still going strong. Um, so I thought it was really, it was really lovely to see that. Yeah, whole of mum's wedding makeup, courtesy of Max Factor. Uh, and she's very keen to get her hands on these lipsticks, so, uh, but I said, no, not until I've had a go first. Um, so that's that. Also, I'm wearing, Max Factor's Ageless Elixir 2-in-1 Foundation and Serum. Um, and I've been wearing this all day, I've been for a few weeks, and I'm wearing it today. Uh, and this is shade Bronze AT. And um, I have to say it's amazing, really, really good product. It's lasted all day, I've had it on all morning, it's now evening. Um, I haven't had to do any touch-ups, and because it's a serum, you get that nice kind of dewy, uh, look, not like most foundations will give you that caked dry look. So I've got to say big thumbs up for this product. I'm really, really pleased that Max Factor, um, you know, have done such a great product and it's restored my faith in trying more kind of, you know, high street brands rather than having to fork out a lot of money on, you know, other foundation makeup brands that charge a hell of a lot, obviously. So I did actually let mum use this and she loved it um, last week last weekend we went to a fashion show and she wore it and it looked fantastic on her sorry she's not around to show you but um i've definitely recommended this to her and i think she will be she always goes through my makeup anyway so we are luckily the same shade foundation anyway i'm waffling so um what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to try all these lipsticks right now on the camera so you can see how it looks on moving images but i've also included still pictures in my post um, so you can see, you know, how it looks, because at the moment it is, I've come into another room because of the light in my room, it's not very good because the sunlight at the moment is coming through in this other room, so, um, that's why I've changed location. Um, I'm actually wearing Bewitching Coral, which is this kind of coral pink colour, hopefully you can see that. Um... So I'm wearing that right now, and um, it's a really, really beautiful colour. I have to say, I normally wouldn't pick this if I saw this in the shop, but um, thanks to this challenge, it has widened my... Well, it's basically encouraged me to try other shades that I normally, you know, wouldn't go near. Because um, I always go for dark shades, or I tend to now wear lip glosses a lot, and because I favour doing eye makeup. Uh, so Bewitching Coral is what I'm wearing right now, and I have to say, I think I'll definitely be wearing this a lot. Uh, when I started this challenge, I've got to say that I was really impressed with the results of Max Factor. These lipsticks are only about £8, I think, and I think there is an offer still on at Boots for three for two. So I normally pay a more, more on lipsticks. So I was a little bit dubious at first. I thought, mm, I'm not sure how it's going to work for me. And some of these shades are quite light. I don't think they may go with my um, skin tone. But I was pleasantly surprised. The hype 
is real what you've heard from other bloggers and what people have said it is all true it is not you know it doesn't go against the trades description act you're not going to be conned here this is actually absolutely true it's very pigmented and because of the ingredients it contains um which i can't remember right now i'm sorry um it helps to keep your lips moisturized all day um and um the reaction i've had from people well mostly my mum she's very observant she has said she's noticed how the lipstick has lasted for hours all day and and she's complimented me on some of them. she said they really do suit you they give you that nice natural look um so that was that was very good to know so anyway i'm wearing as i keep saying bewitching coral and um it is a nice pinky coral color which um, I will certainly be wearing more often. Okay, uh, lipstick number two, which I'm wearing now. If you can see that, is burnt caramel, and I think this is my favourite from the seven that uh, I was asked to try. Um, it just is a nice nude lipstick for my skin tone um, and uh, yeah it's the colors great very pigmented as usual um, lasts all day uh, it just complements well with my eye makeup when I you know when I do it and I go for something quite dark because then it's always good to keep the lips light so uh, burnt caramel is definitely my favorite Okay, lipstick three that I'm wearing is Pink Brandy. Uh, I'm looking at it, I think I probably would be terrified and run away, but, you know, I wore it, and I think I wore it when I went shopping, actually, and uh, I love this one as well. Sorry, I do. It's very similar to the first two that I've seen. So again, um, it is that kind of pinky colour, but it's nice and natural. So um, I would have normally associated this colour more, you know, suitable for uh, fairer skin. But, you know, I've been proved wrong. So this is another corker. Well done, Max Factor. So far, so good. Okay, lipstick four um, is English Rose, which I'm got on my lips right now. And this is a uh, this is a frosty pink colour. Although from this bit, it doesn't look like it. It, it would be a frosty lipstick, um, and it looks horrible on me. It looks gross. It's disgusting actually on me. It really doesn't suit me. I don't think so. I feel like I'm stuck in the eighties time warp. I should be in some 80s pop video, maybe Wham or something. Um, this isn't right for me at all, um, but I'm sure it looks great on fairer skin tones. But for me, it just looks like, oh, I really, it just look at it. It just doesn't look good on me at all. And you can see that from the still picture as well. It just isn't suitable for my skin tone. I'm sorry, this one doesn't work for me. Okay, lipstick five is the one that you've all been waiting for, and this is one that I've uh, I've heard a lot of things about um, and seen it on other other blogs. Um, well, I don't think it needs any introduction. This is Angel Pink, and I thought I'd put it on right now, live or well, as live on this video recording so um, you can get my actual reaction for this. This is the one that I just did not want to wear so I, I haven't actually worn it out I'm afraid and you know I normally do wear stupid things but I, I think I draw the line at this one but anyway let's have a go. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, oh my god well, it's applying really well, I've got to admit that. Very smooth.
Oh lordy. Oh gosh, it looks like I've got no lips or I should be in the cast of Starlight Express, I think. Sorry, I shouldn't use that word. This is horrible on me. Ah, oh, seriously. It's like I've been stuck on a mountain skiing and my lips have obviously, you know, fr gone frosty. I'm surprised they haven't turned blue. Okay, lipstick number six is Mulberry. As you can see. Um, this one surprised me a lot because when we met Caroline and she did her um, demo with the models, she used Mulberry on one of the models and it looked like a very dark maroony red lipstick. Um, but upon trying it and obviously having a closer look, it's quite, it's got a bit of a frosty shimmer to it and it's more kind of raspberry than, um, you know, like a kind of very dark maroon. It really, it looked quite deceiving, I'm afraid. It did look like a very dark wine um, shade. Um, and when I saw it, I was actually looking forward to getting that shade, but I still like this one. I still like the kind of frosty look. It is again, um, it's the same quality as all the other lipsticks um, and it isn't too dark but it is deep enough to get a decent colour and I've noticed another thing with all these lipsticks are that you can wear them in the day uh, so usually anything that is quite dark or bright you kind of steer away from it and leave it till the you know evening when the light is different to natural daylight but um, I like this one too. It is very nice. Even though it looked different when Caroline showed it to us at the masterclass, um, it's still a winner. And I think my mum's going to be after this one. She does love her dark shades. So, um, yeah, I may have to part with this one, I'm afraid. And finally, the seventh lipstick I have here is this. Ruby Tuesday, a vibrant red lippy, and um, it is notoriously a colour for the brave. But if you like your lippies, then you should have at least one good red lipstick in your collection. Uh, I never used to wear red lipstick, I used to be scared classic excuse well, or explanation for people who don't want to wear red lipstick. Uh, and then I don't know, something changed, and I decided to go for it, and I bought a few. But the problem I found with uh, some of the red lipsticks I have is they, you know, they dry up quickly and then they start to flake and it looks horrible and your lips bleed. Um, and red lipstick is, you know, a challenge to wear. You've got to prep your lips very well to avoid all those uh, mishaps. And uh, and then you've got the problem with the tone. Some are bluey. Some may not. Some may, you know, may not look good on certain skin tones. Um, so you have to select the right one. Anyway, this one from Max Factor Ruby Tuesday is is another good one, I'm afraid. It is another good one. Uh, and yeah, I love it. I love it. And as you can see, you've got a nice deep red colour. Not how red, lip, red lipstick should be. But it feels really nice on my lips. It feels moisturised. I can't feel it drying up like other lipsticks eventually do, sooner or later. Um, and I found with wearing the other lipsticks all day, yep, the lasting power is superb. And so I would definitely wear this even in the day. I think I've got the guts to do it. So um, I'm very, very pleased with that one too. So uh, which ones are my favourite? Well, apart from those two frosty pale pinks, the other five are will suit me great. So I could wear each one again Monday to Friday, perfect for the working week. Okay. 